Uh, my name is Eleanor. I am a junior at Lincoln East, and this is my poem, PDA. Today, I was called into the office for sitting on the floor at the school library next to my boyfriend. We sat next to each other. He was reading to me public display of affection. Today, I was called into the office and told if we were ever found having any kind of contact in the library again, we would both be banned from it for the rest of our high school careers. Today, I was holding hands with my boyfriend and a kid ran in between us shoving me into the wall of lockers that hurt. But what hurt worse were how the teachers ignored me and ignored my pain, pretended not to see, not to care. Today, I found out that my friends have been taking bets on whether or not I'm still a virgin. I laughed and hid the dagger that had pierced my heart. In 10th grade, I saw a girl crying because of the rumors that she was a lesbian. I was looking in a mirror. In 9th grade, I saw a girl have her shirt lifted up over her head while a boy took a picture of her bra. In 8th grade, I saw girls' underwear strewn all around the locker room after a panty raid by the boys. In 7th grade, two girls in my class got pregnant while their high school boyfriends ditched them. In 6th grade, a teacher was fired for being more interested in his students' cleavage than in their grades to be the first of three times. In 3rd grade, I heard the boy whisper secrets about hot tubs and groping, and I want to touch your private parts, and I want to take you up to a hotel room. I was told to take it as a compliment. I was seven years old. For 12 years, I have watched and listened and not said a word. For 12 years, they have not been punished. For 12 years, I have blamed myself. Were my skirts too short? Did my non-existent chest entice him? Explain sexual assault to a girl who still thinks babies are given to mommy by a stork. The only thing I remember from my seventh grade health class are the step-by-step -step instructions on how to self-pierce your vagina. Old white men regulate what I'm allowed to know about my own body. Why are my shoulders more controlled than a rapist? Why is sexual assault ignored when a PDA brings banishment? Well, we can't let the children be contaminated. That happened a long time ago, but you ignored me. You refused to see my pain and my tears. You refused to see me. Boys will be boys. It's just rough housing. I don't believe you. I am supposed to be ashamed of a loving and stable relationship, but I am ashamed of our school system public display of affection. Today, I was called into the office for sitting in the school library next to my boyfriend. Isn't it funny what our schools deem as inappropriate?